All right, number 16. What organization pattern does the author use in the article? So they're asking about the entire article. How is it organized? We have A, order of importance. B, chronological order, which we know means time order. C, comparison and contrast. D, cause and effect. So we're looking at the whole article. And I'm already thinking just because this is biographical, it's a biography about a person, it's probably going to be in chronological order, but we can look just to make sure. So let's look back, starting at the beginning. Thomas Jefferson at age 33. Okay, the year was 1826. That looks chronological. 80 years old. Da, da, da. Oh, he's 80 years old. Hmm, they're starting at the end of his life. Oh, but I see here, the early years. Born in 1743. Well, we've kind of gone backwards here. It doesn't seem to work for chronological order. Let's keep going and just look at our date. Uh, 1743, 1775. Okay. After a few years, that's chronological. Oh, 1800. 1803. Yes, 1807. This is looking to me like chronological order. 1819, today. <laughs> yep. Okay, so aside from that very first paragraph, which boys and girls, that's just called a flashback. Okay, they started with, to hook us in, started with something happening late in his life, and then they started from the beginning and went in chronological order. So this seems to me that it is in chronological order. Let's check and see. All right, let's think about order of importance. Well, if it was order of importance, I want you to think about that. What was the most important thing that he did in his life? How do you know him? You know him as a president, right? Was that first? No, it's right there in the middle. So it's not order of importance. Compare and contrast, that's where they would be comparing him to something and then saying how he's like something and how he's different. I don't see anything like that. Cause and effect, there may be some cause and effect in here, but I don't see a lot of cause and effect words. I see a lot of dates. They are in order, except for that first little flashback, it is chronological. So, you, if you need to pause this to go into your corrections sheet, um, you need to put in what you chose, why you chose it, what was wrong with it. As far as the correct answer, it was B, chronological order, because it is in time order. Strategy, start at the beginning, highlight time order words and dates. Um, up here, the stem, kind of going out of order here, sorry, was number 16. What organization pattern does the author use? And you always want to look and see what are they talking about. It's a certain paragraph or the whole article. It was the whole article. That's it for number 16.